Hi, this is part two of um, my video series called uh, uh, 50 Books Published to Kindle. My 50 books I published to Kindle. So this would be part two. Okay. Anyway, this is the Italian version of my science fiction novella called uh, The Wrath of Ramadar. And that looks like a giant Muslim with a tr uh, truck in his mouth. Yeah, pretty much is. Yeah. Uh, although he's al although he's not really a Muslim, he just uh, it's actually a uh, an energy being on a planet that forces the inhabitants to uh, face a a life absorber twice a day, and it feeds off their life forces. And if they don't, then it threatens to destroy a city. And uh, this Star Trek-like crew goes to the planet to uh, check up on a friend. They don't know about this, and the friend tells them about it. And then the captain of the, the ship has powers of his own, and he tries to fight the thing. And really what comes down to it, it's, it's a uh, science fiction parable on how to uh, end the war on terror. And it's the, th it's the second book I published to uh, Amazon's Kindle. Another book I wrote is called uh, The Gospel According to DVD Burner. That's me when I was younger. And the reason why it's me on, when I was younger is because... Um, I, what I did is I read the New Testament on uh, video. And so that's actually a picture from the video. But the reason why I call it The Gospel According to DVD Burner is because... Um, uh, I eventually turned the VHS into DVD uh, discs and I discovered that there were uh, files that the computer well that the DVD burner had created and not all the gospel is there just uh, bits and pieces of it and the bits and pieces that were, 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 that were able to download I looked them up and uh, picked him out and um, so it's the gospel according to DVD burner because no human picked him it was a DVD player and since I believe that God works in the random I thought well maybe God wants this thing out there so the gospel according to DVD burner nobody created it except for the DVD burner uh, this is called uh, call me Jibril it's a it's a kind of a sequel to uh, the wrath of Ramadar um, here, there, um, this being, this, 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 this black mutant, uh, who, uh, you find out created Islam, he goes back in time to give pointers to Muhammad on how to make Islam successful when he realizes, when he's reading, uh, he finds out that in the 21st century there's no Islam, uh, because, uh, uh, Muhammad's seventh century way of thinking crept into the Quran, and so he goes back to give Muhammad pointers. And so successful is this 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 thing, this this being, this uh, this black mutant, this Doug Davis mutant, whatever you call him, uh, that uh, it creates Borg robots and flying Kabas and like the like the the Borg cube and all that, and um, basically it creates the Borg in our in our galaxy. And so, uh, the captain of Mutania, who is the star of um, uh, the Wrath of Ramadar, uh, goes back to try to stop him, and in the process, changes time in a big way. Now, this is the very first novel. I this is actually the very first book that I ever published on. I've written a lot of novels, but this is the very first novel I wrote on. Um, that actually published. It's called Trucker Jihad. Of course, this is the German version, and it's about a uh, a um, science teacher, sci a high school science teacher, who um, uh, ends up uh, finding a flash drive on his computer and uh, discovers it was it belonged to a substitute teacher that was supposedly killed. Uh, 
a, a couple of nights, about a night before. And in the process, he finds out all this stuff of how to uh, expose Islam. And he ends up exposing Islam to the point where he becomes um, a marked man. And so he tries to hide by becoming a trucker. And of course, he ends up being hunted as a trucker. It's a suspense novel. And at the same time, exposes a lot of Islam. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. Um, that was the okay. This is um, this is the Wrath of Ramadar, and I use that as my yeah the Wrath of Ramadar. I use this uh, avatar as my thumb. Or I guess you could. Say, I, I use this picture as my this this book cover as my uh, Nalnyesmar um, avatar. If that looks like a giant Muslim in a city with the uh, smoke, uh, atomic smoke coming out of his mouth like Godzilla and uh, lightning and radiation or energy coming out of him, yeah, it is. And I think I told you about this thing at the beginning when it was in the German version. This is the second. This is the third book I wrote on Amazon that I, that I published on Amazon. It's called uh, "Holding Mirror Up to Islam." And basically, it's my first uh, nonfiction book I published to Amazon's Kindle where I'm uh, questioning Muslims about Islam. And in the, I inter where I interject my uh, thoughts with theirs so they end up reading what I'm asking them. Uh, Jihad of Words is pretty much the same thing. I published this June 22nd, 2012. Uh, it's just a few days after this, the the, the second one I published. Uh, of Mice and Sarah Palin. That's an early version of Propeller Wars, where I am Mutania. That's my handle on there. Where I uh, try to defend America and Israel against uh, Muslims, stealth Muslim, and Muslims and liberals who are very pro-blamer. Um, it's a non-fiction work. Uh, full phases on the board cube. Full phases on the uh, full phases on the board cube. If, as you can tell, that board cube is actually the Kaaba. <laughs> the Muslims are running around. Uh, that's uh, like a sequel to uh, uh, Jihad of Words. It's, it's it's a sequel, basically. Non-fiction. Atheists into the Twilight Zone is all the times I've talked with atheists and uh, that's me with glasses on act like a an old atheist uh, being confronted with a mirror uh, kind of like holding up a mirror to uh, atheism uh, basically the same thing I do with the Muslims it's 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 done there um, painting the night with stars that's another dealing with mutania and uh, on Netscape's propeller that's me by uh, in the morning. It's supposed to be a comet shooting by in the night. Okay, Sniper on the Kaaba. Uh, messages from the Edge of Earth. This is actually a play, a full-length play. Three-act play. And, um, yeah, that's me on a, a TV screen uh, where I'm uh, playing a guy that becomes a video ghost. It's basically a... Uh, it's like Fiddler on the Rough, except in with except dealing with um, a Jewish family. It's dealing with uh, a Muslim family, well, Muslims too, and uh, with a Jewish family where they were uh, experiencing change uh, that was turning their world upside down in Anatevka. This video ghost um, sets up sleeper cells that start uh, exposing, uh, making it so Islam can be exposed on the internet. And um, I'm not going to give away the ending, but it, 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 it ends pretty dramatically. That's all I can say. Uh, here's the German version of that uh, same play. And uh, this is the Italian version of that same play. And the French version of that same play. And the Spanish version of that same play. <laughs> oh, and here's the the French version of Trucker Jihad 
and the Italian version of Trucker Jihad. And I think I will stop it here because I think I'm running out of uh, room. Uh,